LXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, Question 8. The curve C has equation PX cubed plus QXY plus 3Y squared equals 26, where P and Q are constants. For part A, we need to show that dy by dx equals APX squared plus BQY all over QX plus CY, where A, B and C are integers to be found. We're going to do this term by term. So the first term, px cubed, that's nice and easy to differentiate with respect to x because the only variable in there is the x itself. So we bring the power down, we subtract one from the power, so we get three px squared. The second term, qxy, is a little bit trickier because now we've got both the x and the y. So we need to use the product rule here. So our product rule is a differential of uv where u and v are functions, is v du dx add u dv dx. So doing this, differentiating the x first, well the differential of x is 1, multiplied by the y means we've got qy. We then do it the other way around, so we differentiate the y. Differential of y with respect to x is just dy by dx, which we then multiply by the rest of it, so qx. So the differential of qxy with respect to x becomes qy plus qx dy by dx. We now need to differentiate 3y squared. So by the chain rule, the quick way of thinking about this is if we multiply the power, the 2, down to the front and remove one from the power, the same way we would if we were differentiating an x with respect to x, but we need to put a dy by dx on the end. So the 2 times 3 becomes 6, 6y times dy by dx. If you want to check this using the chain rule, go ahead. But this is a quick shortcut that will always work. On the right hand side of the equation, we've got 26. We'll differentiate that with respect to x, it just becomes 0. So we're part way there now. We need to rearrange this into the form dy by dx. So let's move those first two terms over to the right hand side by subtracting them away. We can now factorize the left to get qx plus 6y times by dy by dx equals minus 3px squared minus qy. Then dividing by the brackets on the left hand side gives us an answer of dy by dx equals minus 3px squared minus qy over qx plus 6y, which is in the form that we were asked for. We're now given that the point p minus 1 minus 4 lies on c and the normal to c at p has equation 19x plus 26y plus 123 equals 0. We need to find the value of p and the value of q. So let's start off by finding the gradient of this normal using the dy by dx that we've just found. So our dy by dx is minus 3px squared minus qy all over qx plus 6y. And we know that that's going through the point p minus 1 minus 4. So let's substitute that in. We get minus 3p times minus 1 squared, minus q times minus 4, all over minus q plus 6 times minus 4, which simplifies to minus 3p plus 4q, all over minus q minus 24. Now this is dy by dx at p, but we're looking at the normal. So the normal, to find the gradient of this, we need to find the negative reciprocal. So our gradient is going to equal positive 24 plus q, all over minus 3p plus 4q. We can also find our gradient a different way in that we've got the equation of the normal. So our equation is 19x plus 26y plus 123 equals 0. If we subtract the 19x and the 123 from both sides and divide through by 26, this will rearrange into y equals minus 19 over 26 times x minus 123 over 26. Now, as this is a straight line, and we've got our equation in the form y equals mx plus c, this means that the gradient must be that minus 19 over 26 that's multiplying the x. So we can set this equal to the 24 plus q over minus 3p plus 4q that we've just found. Cross multiplying, so multiplying both sides by 26 and the minus 3p plus 4q, we get minus 19 times minus 3p plus 4q equals 26 times 24 plus q. If we expand the brackets 
and subtract 26q from both sides, we get 57p minus 102q equals 624. So we've got an equation in terms of p and q, but that's still two unknowns, so we're going to need to find ourselves another equation. Now we'll label this one as 1, and we'll see why in a moment. Now looking back at our question, we can see that our original equation for c is also in terms of p and q, and we know that it goes through p, so let's substitute p into the equation for c. So p times minus 1 cubed plus q times minus 1 times minus 4 plus 3 times minus 4 squared is equal to 26. This simplifies to minus 4 plus 4q plus 48 equals 26. And subtracting that 48 gives us minus p plus 4q equals minus 22, which we're going to label as 2. So we've got two simultaneous equations now. Let's multiply the bottom one by 57, so that we've also got the 57p there. We'll compare that to our original equation 1. Well, as we've got a 57p and a negative 57p, if we add these two together, they'll cancel out, and that will give us 126q equals minus 630, hence q is equal to minus 5. We can now substitute q back into any of our equations. So substituting it into equation 2, we get that minus p plus 4 lots of minus 5 equals minus 22, hence p is equal to 2. And there's our two answers. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.